Hi everybody, Ken Krushka here. Today we are going to look at this Olivetti Latera 33. So before we get into that though, I gave my mother a typewriter about a month ago. It was that Sears Achiever. And for a month she didn't type anything to me. She would text me. Uh, I finally get a letter. She typed up an envelope and look at that. I mean perfect. She made me sweat it out for a month wondering if it was going to work right and everything. Perfect you know, no streaks, perfect align, everything typed great. So I feel good now, giving her that new typewriter. She had had a, like a brother electric that wasn't cooperating so good. And anyway, um, this Latera 33, the deal with it is, so this is like a plastic and metal framed body. It's got the lid lifts off. Um, this piece is only held on by four screws and then you can just take it off of this uh, body itself. Um, it's a nice plastic body with an aluminum trim. They, uh, they use, the thing about this thing is they use Francis Ford Coppola used this to make the Godfather screenplay and so people have a sense that it might be worth more than it really is. I mean, these things were only 60, what, $68.50 or something new, you know, or $69.50 with the tabulation models. So, you know, um, when I was looking for parts for this, uh, I think the people on the internet, on eBay in particular, are out of their minds. Uh, I made an offer on one for parts. And so what you got to get is these retaining nuts. These are right-hand thread. Make sure if you get one of these that you have the spools and the retaining nuts because Underwood uh, used those then, Olivetti, Underwood. Underwood, I think, learned a lot from Olivetti or vice versa. Um, the bottom plate, they made some changes. I glued that back down. That rests. Uh, the way this, this bottom plate goes on, I'll show you that quick. Let me just... So here's the here's the bottom, and these posts here and here are, are permanent fixtures. So when you uh, when you have that to take off, you have to pull, you know, lubricate these old, uh, these rubber washers. It's like uh, like sticking a needle in a basketball to fill it up with air. You know, why do you want to screw up the rubber washer? So add a little oil to it. I got that machine oil, or that's what I used. It's not a big deal. You can use anything. Um, but lubricate it, and then when you lift up there first, you pry the, you know, you just pull those off, and then this front has a like little lip edge, so it'll just go under the. Well, there's three little peg spots, so it's something like that. So you pop it up, and then up and out. Okay. That said, let's get in on this a little bit and look. So, one of the parts I'm trying to get anyway is uh, it's missing its front rollers. Uh, somebody had taken this all apart. I I had some screws laying around, so I was able to put the knob back on the, the platen roller knob and the side plate and everything. And this was all bent, straightened this out. The carriage uh, release lever and um, the front rollers are missing. The bell d doesn't doesn't ring right at the moment on its own. The carriage lock was all gummed up. Somebody was a WD-40 mechanic is what I'm getting at here. If, if you can see, I mean, this took a little lot of doing, and it's not, I haven't sprayed anything yet. That's, that was all stuck. So the carriage lock wasn't working, and I think, I think that's probably why the guy initially ever opened this up in the first place. He probably, because this was kind of bent too, like he had been fighting and, you know, and the bell, it's pathetic. I mean, this is... Let me get this here. Look how stuck that is. You can actually see the WD-40 gunk just grind on. It doesn't ting at all. I mean, you have to really... So we're going to spray that and see how much just a little cleaning can do to, to free that up. Um... Now, the way, the other thing about these Lateras is, 
I know the the Laterra 22 is like permanently displayed in a museum somewhere. Markello Nizzoli, something like that, had originated the design. And then when they got to the 33, they did this jet black leathered metal frame. Um, it was a further development of Nizzoli's Laterra theme. Uh, weighs nine and a quarter pounds, but you know it's got a nice touch. This is your touch control here. This this piece. I like it in the middle here, I guess. It just feel, feels better there. That all unfolds. You know, it's very compact. Um, now, for sourcing parts, though, you know, I guess this is my thing on that. So, Latera 33, right? Okay. Well, how about Underwood 330? Um, you know, the Latera 31. Hmm, seems a lot like the Underwood 310. You know, I'm just saying, why pay, why pay a million and a half dollars for parts when you can just get them from an Underwood? And like I say, all I really need is the front rollers are missing. I have a bar that I ran in to see if it would work, and it 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 just has two connection points, one at this side, one at the other. So really, if you know, if I had to make one, it wouldn't be impossible either. But I hope I don't have to just make one. Um. Let's spray this thing and see if we can make the bell ring. Where's my... And and just just the point of freeing it up from from WD-40 city everywhere on this. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get in there and do some some big time cleaning cleaning. But just let's get some gunk off the bell and see if we can't um, can't make that go. I got, what do I got here, electric parts cleaner. It's very, you know, this stuff's pretty good. Um, you got something that's going to cut WD-40 and not hurt anything. And that's, of course, why the body's off it right now. You don't want to damage anything, but let me get some light on this. So I want to hit this area for sure, this area. And just let's see what... Let's just see what happens, just with a little, little cleaning of that area. I mean, look at that. It's already moving a million times better, just from, just from spraying it, and not even really spraying well. I'm not even aiming for nothing, you know. That is, that is incredible already. It's, it's moving at moving on its own. Everything in there is just as stuck as that bell. And if that bell tings now on its own, did you hear it? I know it's it's faint, but it's doing it. It's tinging on its own. Yeah. Don't use WD-40 on your typewriters. I guess that's the lesson learned here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start cleaning her up. You all take care. Have a good day, everybody.